Welcome back to China Price Watch. In today's Money Matters, we're talking about bribing kids into schools. To get into some of China's top schools, you have to own a house nearby one. But there are also other ways to get into these schools, which many find unfair to the general public. They include using power, money and influence, and sometimes even talent. The first way in is to have a well-connected parent with an influential job. Usually public institutions and big companies in China build relationships with local schools. Kids from these influential families often get prioritized when applying for the schools. According to a report by Southern Weekly, most of the best schools in Beijing have around 50 to 100 cooperating institutions and enterprises. Two-thirds of them are public institutions or government departments, like tax bureaus and local police stations. The government often uses its resources to provide facilities and handle bureaucratic matters for the school. They rarely need to spend money to handle these matters because they often already have the resources available. They share their space because they are both public facilities. One third of these cooperating units are commercial enterprises, usually donate a large amount of money to each year. As the top schools usually have a lot of funding, companies have to stay competitive to keep up their relationships. Another way to get into this school is by leveraging connections with high-ranking officials in the local government. These officials can recommend students to the schools. In order to keep up a good relationship with these government departments, schools usually choose to accept the students. 8 to 10% of the students at these schools have been given recommendations. These students are called Tiao Zisheng in Chinese, or students with a note, as officials usually wrote an informal note to recommend those students to the preferred schools. In recent years, reports have come out about school presidents suddenly disappearing just before the first day of school. They do this to avoid the huge number of recommendations, which could create problems with officials. To get an official to write a note, their parents will use bribes. The bribes range from several hundred to hundreds of thousands of dollars, and the bribes don't even guarantee that the student will get in. For those students who aren't well connected, they can sign up for classes that give them connections. Many of these schools train students for exams. According to 21st Century Business Herald, only the top 10% of them are selected to their dream schools. The cost of these schools is around 5,000 to 8,000 US dollars per student. Some students enroll in several other courses to better their odds. The value of the classes has made them very profitable businesses. According to data, the whole market value reached around $158 million in 2012. The 5% figure is going to be a major shock to the public school system, if it's actually enforced. With a large decrease, the schools will find it rational to only keep up relationships with the highest bidders and the most powerful officials. But closing these floodgates might be extremely hard, as managing these influential figures could burn bridges fast. Don't go away, because up next in our question of the day, we are Beijingers' thoughts on bribing kids into schools. Stay tuned.